Hey guys, this is Malinki. Welcome back to my channel, Voice of Malinki. Today we will talk about Eure Miller experiment. And if you are new in my channel, please subscribe my channel. And if you like my video, please do like, comment, and share my video. So, in the last lecture, we have seen that Haldane and Oparin have given the most acceptable theory regarding origin of life. According to that theory, we have seen simple organic molecules like amino acids, nucleotides, monosaccharides, fatty acids, etc. are formed from simple gases and inorganic compounds such as CO2, hydrogen, ammonia, methane, etc. So in 1953, Miller and Ure have proven that theory. In order to do that, they have artificially created the primitive atmosphere of early earth in the laboratory. So we will see that what they have done. Uh, they have used a closed flask that is the spark chamber you can see here which contains two electrodes so start from here they have used water they have used water and applied heat to boil that water because our primitive atmosphere was too hot, right? The seawater was like boiling. It was like boiling in the primitive earth. So in order to make that replica environment, they have boiled water here. Now, boiling water yields water vapor that comes from this point to this. Now in this spark chamber they used a mixture of methane, ammonia and hydrogen gases in 2 is to 1 is to ratio. This ratio is important. Try to remember this ratio. So 2 is for methane, 1 is for ammonia and 2 is for hydrogen. And they created electric discharge that is like primitive lightning via these two electrodes. And the total temperature was maintained 800 degrees Celsius in this system. They have uh, added a condenser here. So what is does? It actually wraps this tube. This condenser basically wraps this tube like a jacket. Now through this tube, Cold water is allowed to enter that makes this part cool, right? And then hot water comes out of this tube, right? Because this cold water is making the tube cooler and itself gets warmer and it comes out of this tube. So this is the work of, this is the function of the condenser. So what we can see that this part was made cooler and as the water vapor along with these three gases like ammonia, methane and hydrogen pass down this area, pass down this tube they get condensed due to the cold temperature 
and gases become liquid in this condenser. This is the function of the condenser. Now here they have kept another flask. This is another flask for collecting sample and further analysis, further chemical analysis. Now they have waited for one week. So after one week they have collected liquid here and analyzed and found three amino acids such as glycine, alanine and aspartic acid. And because of the condensation, water vapor transforms into water that mixes with these. So here again water is coming due to the condensation water vapor converts into water and it is coming and it is mixing with this. The condenser actually works like rain. It works like rain. When raining primitive hot air became cooler and used to fall and mix with seawater. So this is like that. So this theory basically proves uporin Haldane theory and demonstrate that simple organic molecules like amino acids can be synthesized in the laboratory from a mixture of gases.